Morning everyone, welcome to another walk. Today we're going to be walking around Cow Plantation Nature Reserve. You can go this way where that family is or we're going to take the right, I mean left, over the stile straight into the forest. Right, this is the stile which is going to take you into the forest. I don't know exactly how far it is, but again, I'm going to set the watch from this exact location and then stop it at the end and we'll find out. Let's go. Yeah, so we went over the stile. Now we're going to veer off left, which is going to take us into the heart of the wood. You'll pass the first piping. If anyone knows what that is, Comment, let us know. And then we're going to continue on down the track. We're now walking past the second piping. Again, we're just continuing on following the track. I'm following Ruby. What you want to be careful with, going around the paths, you could easily slip and fall into the stream. Just be careful, take your time, and keep looking where you're going to be placing each foot every step. When you're walking down the path, there's lots of options to veer off to the right. We're just going to continue straight on, following the path which veers off left. Then this is going to head downwards and to the right, eventually leading to the River Weir. So, we're going to look at the signs again. Obviously this is going to say left, so we're getting down there. But remember, this is a public bridal way, so you'll be sharing this with possibly horses and bicycles. There's always going to be a little right in it. This says Bransbeth. So at some point, you'll see another sign like this and it'll direct you towards the Bransworth Paths. We've also got this purple sign here, which is the Camino Ingles to Santiago. Santiago. I don't know much about this route, so in the next video, we'll talk about that. We'll have a little bit of a discussion. Right, this is my third time around here. I've been twice with Ruby on my own, and I've been once with my daughter Mia. Now, there's lots of different trails you can go around. So it's probably worth coming a good few times, getting used to where you're going, finding your route, so you'll, you'll just know where I go all the time, but it's, it's fun, there's, there's lots to look at. It's huge. And it is a circular walk, so you will end up where you started, eventually. So we've walked down the left hand side of the wood. We've turned right, we've followed the path, we've followed this fence here. This is then going to bend round to the left, and you're going to come to the river Weir. Okay, we've had a few minutes at the river weir. Now we're going to go over the bridge. We're going to veer off to the left. Head up. That's going to take us round the top of the forest. And then eventually it'll lead back to the car at the top. Okay, so what I've done is... I've cut in from the path 
through the trees. It's just because I know that if I keep walking through the tree line, here, straight over, I know there's a pop over there. But if you don't know the area that well, it is worth just following the path straight up and then it'll take you right to the top of the wood and then eventually it'll take you back down. But um, I'm just looking for a few nature vids. Lots of rabbit footprints about. Haven't seen none yet though. We're gonna we're gonna continue on straight along there. Then we're gonna get back onto the river again. The streams through. Sometimes when you're out walking, it is just to, it's just nice just to stand there and listen. Look around, listen. and look, see what you can see. If you look close enough, you might just be able to see maybe it's a squirrel or a rare bird or ruby. So we're now quite close to the stream of where we were following earlier on. Earlier on, it was up, up high up there, and we were going down towards the river. So we've come back round, following the trees. We've just been following some of the footprints, to be honest. We've been cutting through the trees. You'll be able to see that on my smartwatch app. And we're just going to continue on upstream as you can see we're back at Tudder Mill Wood the nature reserve so now we're gonna head back on the path upstream still and you'll notice it's just exactly where you were at the beginning and you'll go straight up to the top where you park your car me and my daughter Mia we came down last summer when we was allowed out and you were allowed a picnic and everything and what we did was just upstream down just down there we came down with um, a, a gas stove and burgers and pop and that and we must have spent about a good three hours just next to the river me was chucking stones in the river I had some shandy bass and she loved it What you can do is, to the left of us up there, up the hill, just a little bit further back, there'll be some steps leading up there. And that'll get you onto um, a bridleway path and it'll take you back up. Cause when there's no snow down here and it's, it rains, this path that I'm on, it does get quite bad. But up there, it's a concrete path and you'll be all right. But um, I've, I've always come down this way, and it, yes, it is quite boggy in the summer and that when it's been raining, but there's more to look at, and I like to follow the stream going down. Looks like someone's been a bit too fast coming down, and unfortunately they've landed in the stream. I'm at the end of the walk now. My car's just parked at the top there. We have got steps here on the left to go back up. You could walk round to your car. Not that much parking space. Um, I know there's two cars at the top, that's including mine. You could probably maybe get four or five cars at the top, but there is plenty of stairs you can park. Uh, I hope you've enjoyed the video. Subscribe and watch some more if you're interested. See you later. Thank you.